So now let's take a look at uh, a second, uh, more realistic case of solidification for alloy. Alloy, not pure element. We are dealing with alloy, at least uh, two different uh, metallic elements together. Okay, or two different polymers. If uh, you can do the same thing for polymers or ceramics, it's fundamentally whether it's ceramics, polymers, or metals. Fundamentally, it's the same. The principle is the same. Okay. This this second case is slightly faster than our first case. We are not assuming equilibrium all the time. This case is characterized by no diffusion in solid. Which means, okay, we assume in this process the diffusion within the solid is so slow that uh, it doesn't really happen during the solidification process. On the other hand, we have so-called uh, read to yourself. Perfect mixing in liquid. Perfect mixing in liquid. Which means at any moment within the liquid, the, that hard liquid, whether it's metal or ceramics or polymers, the liquid composition is what? Perfect mixing, you would have uniform composition. But within the solid, no diffusion. So within the solid, the, the composition can change from location to location. Okay? So the practical example would be you are doing solidification of an alloy. You are doing reasonably fast cooling and with what? Efficient uh, so-called uh, Stirring. Stirring you can either, for polymers, you can put a mechanical uh, stir by into it or, or blade into it to stir the liquid for polymers. For metals, you don't really do that, but there are other shaking or some other type of mechanism for you to stir the metal. Make sense? So this is kind of like fast cooling, stirring in liquid. Okay, but within the solid, within the metals, we said similar, quite often alloy between copper and nickel are similar material. That quite often diffusion by so-called substitutional diffusion through the vacancy mechanism, which is very, very fast or slow. For solid diffusion within the substitutional diffusion within alloy, copper, zinc, copper, nickel, fast or slow quite often very very slow because you have to wait for the vacancy right it's slow so that's what we um, for simplicity assume no diffusion in solid perfect mixing uniform liquid again we are looking at the same what phase diagram for simplicity again still assuming linear solid line linear liquid line constant ratio between solid line composition and liquid line composition. And our system composition is still at zero. And we are doing solidification, going from high temperature in liquid to low temperature in solid. Make sense? OK. And then we said the stirring. Because we are doing stirring, the liquid composition would be uniform at all times. That's the first one. And we said, OK, assuming no diffusion in solid by this solid substitutional diffusion, very, very slow. Let's, for practical purpose, treat it as no diffusion. OK? And then we, the consequence of this no diffusion in solid uh, would be the solid composition does what? Not change either with time during your solidification process within these several hours. There's no change in time for a local position. There's also no change from location to, I wouldn't say that, uh, let me rephrase it. For a single location, it's not going to change with time. Okay? Different location, uh, the composition can be different. Okay, and then still assume Another simplicity. We assume local equilibrium at a solid liquid interface. We said still is quite often for metals. The interface between solid and liquid, that temperature is very, very close to melting temperature. Okay, temperature is very close to melting temperature, equi equilibrium melting temperature. And not only that, the local composition right across the interface. 
right across interface would also be determined by equilibrium, which means determined by the cross section, sorry, the intercept of isothermal temperature line and the phase boundary line. That's our third assumption. And then liquid composition at any moment would follow liquidus line, right? Because we said liquid composition for locally follows equilibrium, liquidus line. But then we also said liquid composition is what? Uniform, right? We are stirring, we are stirring within a liquid. Liquid composition always follows liquidus line. And then the solid composition is a little bit tricky. The solid composition is a little bit tricky. Let me ask you this. Now first, let's, I want you to read this scene to yourself a little bit. The, we said the solid composition changes with position, okay? Changes with location. And the result of solidification happening at what? Changing temperature or decreasing temperature. Make sense? Now let's go back to the phase diagram. When, where on this phase diagram does the first bit of solid form? It should be close to T1 temperature, right? When my system temperature is close to T1, I form my first little bit of what? Solid. And what is that solid composition? It's determined by this guy, right? And then as my temperature drops a little bit, let's say drop to here. Let's say drop to here. What's the solid composition right at the interface? The interface between solid and liquid. What's the solid composition right at the interface? It should be, we said, local equilibrium. If the temperature is here, local equilibrium determines the local solid composition is what? This guy, XS, right? But remember, we said there's no diffusion in solid, okay? The first bit of solid has composition of what? This guy, right? Kx0. The, as we decrease the temperature, the interface composition would be a little bit richer in solute. Make sense? So do you see, okay, as I cool it further down to here, what's my solid composition right at the interface. It's just this guy, right, x0, but deep within the solid, the first bit of solid still has the composition of this guy, make sense? kx0, that's the first bit of solid. Because we are assuming no diffusion in solid, whatever form the solid composition remains, it does not change with time for local position. Okay, make sense? So that's a complexity. As a result, as a result, the, read this sentence to yourself. The so-called average, average solid composition, by composition we mean solute concentration Xp, average within the solid, it will be lower or to the left of the liquidus line. Put it that way. This red dashed line represents what? Xs for solid composition, but I put a bar on top means so-called quote unquote average, right? I put a bar on top means average. The average would be somewhat here. Make sense? Let's say if I'm temperature is at this T2 temperature. The first bit of solid has a composition of this guy, right? Well, the latest one, right at interface, is this XS. So somewhere in between is my so-called quote-unquote average. Make sense? Average solid composition. And then when I cool to this temperature, T3, it's the same argument. Make sense? At the T3, T3, look at T3. What's the first bit of solid formed in this whole process? It still has a composition of Kx0, right? 
Well, at T3, the interface has a solid composition of what? X0, you see what I mean? So there will be some lower, some higher on average and somewhere in here. Make sense? So this red dashed line represents the so-called uh, average, quote-unquote average, represented by that bar on top of XS, average composition follows this red line, roughly. I'm not uh, doing analytical, just roughly here. Make sense? It's going to be lower or m m more dilute than what? The so-called uh, solidus line. Make sense? The average, the x, the dashed red dots would be lower than the solid uh, black line, which is solidus line. Make sense? Okay, so that's this one. What does that mean? That means within the solid, my composition is uniform or not uniform? Uniform or not uniform? The first bit formed, the earliest that formed had this composition. The latest that formed had this composition. And no diffusion. Uniform or not uniform? Not uniform, right? And within the solid, the composition is going to change. It's going to change. In the center where it's formed first, here, outer side form lower, form later had this one. So it's not uniform, which can be bad for mechanical property because material mechanical property from location to location changes may change a lot. Okay? And then if we're dealing with what? so-called eutectic system. If we are dealing with a eutectic system, if we are dealing with this relatively fast cooling, not equilibrium, relatively fast cooling, we are stirring in the liquid. When the system reaches T3 temperature, T3 temperature, if we are doing solidification extremely slow, once we go below T3, we should have what? Any liquid or no liquid? If we are doing the solidification extremely slow, once our temperature is below T3, under normal condition, there should not be any what? Liquid. Make sense? If we are doing very, very slowly, we allow things to happen, reach equilibrium. And here, I should have not have any liquid. However, when we are doing practical cooling, practical solidification, when my system temperature is here, when my system temperature is here, what's my solid average composition? We said solid average composition x bar is given by this red line, right? And what's my liquid composition? Tie line. We said liquid follows liquid line. So based on level rule, how much liquid do we still have left? Because my average, on average, my solid has this composition, x bar s, right? So the amount of relevant amount of liquid on the right would be opposite from here to where? To the right line, divided by the total. Make sense? So which means even though I'm slightly below T3, I still have a little bit of what left? Liquid. Make sense? Why? Because we are not doing this patiently enough. We are not, not doing equilibrium solidification. We are doing it in a relatively fast fashion. The solid composition doesn't, would not change. So even when I reach T3, under equilibrium, I should be all solid. But because I'm not patient enough, I am still left with some, what? Liquid. Then the liquid proportion would be opposite arm this tiny bit divided by the total from here all the way to here. Make sense? Because the red dashed line represents the average solid composition. Make sense? That's because of this. I have a little bit of liquid left. That would allow the system to further move down to lower temperature with some liquid left. And eventually, it's the system will reach what? What is this temperature? 
TE for eutectic temperature. Eventually, the system would reach eutectic temperature. And no matter what, that last bit of liquid at this temperature has to what? When you cool, that last bit of liquid at this temperature, eutectic composition, would what? Solidify going from so-called eutectic reaction from liquid to alpha on one side, beta on the other side for that tiny bit of liquid. And the liquid composition is Xe. Make sense? So that's kind of okay when you think of the process solidification going from liquid to solid for a alloy. When you are doing the solidification in um, not too slow, Tip, typical fashion. No diffusion in solid, perfect mixing, assuming uni liquid has li uniform composition. Okay? 